Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, Commissioner Dimes coming to you with a quick follow-up to the welcome video. Um, we've had a uh, another manager who's uh, decided that they're going to follow uh, one of their friends out of the league with them. So that puts us in a position where we have a new team up for grabs. Um, because this comes right on the uh, tail of the uh, original team assignments for our four new managers, uh, I didn't think it was fair to bring someone else in and just assign them the new team. So I uh, gave first right of refusal to the four new managers so they could assess whether they wanted to stick with the team that they'd gotten through the um, team assignment draw or if they wanted to take a chance at uh, getting this new team uh, and uh, switching the team that they originally had. So I had two managers who decided to stick with the team that they were assigned. I had two who said that they would prefer this team to the team that they had. Those two teams are Brett Reno and Mr. Ryan Ralph. So uh, since they both dis uh, displayed interest in the new team. Uh, we're going to flip for it tonight. Um, and uh, we've got two scenarios that play out. Uh, if Ryan wins the flip, he will take over the new team, uh, which is the big Hurton squad that finished third overall last season. Uh, and we will result in acquiring that team and the 10th draft pick in the redraft. Um, if Brett loses, he'll maintain his existing team. If Brett wins the flip, he will take Big Hurton. His team will come up, which was the uh, second preference of uh, Ryan uh, in the original team assignments. So he will then inherit Brett's current team. And then uh, the team that Ryan was assigned will go to our new manager who will be joining us uh, once I receive payment from him, uh, which hopefully will be in the next few days, and then we will have a full lead. So that's how we're going to go about it. I think it's the fairest way to do it, um, and uh, it'll make sure that the four newest managers that all came in at the same time uh, will have the teams sorted out fair way and then the newest manager who came on uh, after these four will then get uh, running the team. So that's what we're going to do. It really comes down to flipping. Um, I've also decided on a draft date and a keeper date so I will send that out right now um, but uh, let's get the suspense of the flip out of the way and then we can talk about boring things like draft dates and keeper dates. So as we're all familiar with, uh, let me just change the color of the coin so it reads a little better. How's that? So we've got the blue coin. We're going to flip it. Best two out of three. Again, we'll go alphabetically. Ralph will have uh, heads. Reno will have tails. And we will go from there. So here we are. And we're going to flip. Oops. We're going to flip. Heads, one point for Ralph for the Big Hurt and Squad. We're going to flip again. Tails. So one point for Ralph, one point for Reno. Third flip will decide it. Here we go. And it's heads. So in a two to one score, Ryan Ralph will inherit the Big Hurt and team. Brett Reno will keep his existing team it's actually a pretty good pretty good squad so uh, and uh, I believe has the first pick overall in the redraft so um, I think that's a good result for everybody involved and our newest manager uh, his name is Nick who should be joining us shortly uh, once I move these teams around uh, we'll be inheriting the diamond cutters team so I hope 
anyone who is uh, intending on leaving has spoken so that we can move forward. Um, the good news is I think we have 12 uh, guys who are committed to doing really well. Uh, I've already seen some, uh, some trade chatter, some banter going back and forth. So I think uh, if we just uh, hashtag trust the process uh, and work our way through uh, this, these initial bumps in the road that we will be off and running with a great season. Uh, draft date, let's get to that. March 24th, uh, it's a Sunday. Uh, do it usually around 8.30 uh, p.m. Eastern for Maddie Tian on the left coast. Remember that. Um, so Sunday, March 24th, that is the first Sunday before opening day, which I believe is March 28th. So that's good. Keepers are due a week before that. So whatever... 24th, so that would be, what, the 17th, uh, should be the uh, Sunday before that. Keepers are due then. Uh, had some questions. Is uh, pre-draft trading allowed? The answer is yes. Um, do it via email, chat, however you do it offline. Once you have the trade, you announce it on the message board and send it in to me. And uh, you can trade anyone on your roster. You don't have to announce your keepers first and then trade them. Uh, if you do make a trade, uh, whoever is exchanged would need to be kept on those rosters, though. So you can't trade for somebody uh, and then drop them. That just wouldn't really make sense uh, and would defeat the purpose of uh, doing any kind of two-for-one to increase the number of people that you intend on keeping. So... Uh, if you make a trade, keepers, uh, those would involve all keepers, but they, they don't have to be established prior to the trade being made. Uh, so that answers that. And uh, I had another, I'm trying to think of the other question that I had. I can't think of it right now. That should cover it. Oh, uh, in I know there are different rules uh, in different leagues that I played in. Uh, you do not have to keep a minimum of any position, so you are not bound by any number of pitchers that you need to keep or hitters that you need to keep. If you want to keep five pitchers, you can keep five pitchers and no offensive players and vice versa. If you want to uh, dump all your pitchers and only keep hitters, that is allowed as well. Uh, one other point I will put out there, there will be a league vote on number of keepers this year, so keep that in mind. Going forward, I want to say it, it now. We may there has been some mention of reducing the number, um, so that could be a thing. But it will be based on a league vote that will happen sometime relatively early on in the season, so that you can govern yourself accordingly throughout the year. But I just want to put that bug in the ear now, so that everybody knows. Um, and uh, I think that's it. I've got one payment in seventy five dollars. Um, Please send those in to me. Uh, I'd like to get that all taken care of well before draft day so I'm not chasing people uh, and that we can get all the accounting of the way early. So send that in, geary.phil at gmail.com. So thanks for your time. Uh, probably won't see another video for a little while, but I just wanted to get all this housekeeping out of the way nice and early and get everybody on the same page. Glad to everybody, have everybody aboard. Glad to see that everybody's getting involved. Hit up the group chat in Yahoo if you get a chance. Uh, our football league it was a blast in there. At least I thought it was. Uh, a lot of uh, good banter back and forth and trash talk. And, uh, you know, it's also a good way to um, uh, get trade talks going. We can go into the group chat. And then there's also individual chat, which is a nice way to kind of uh, throw ideas back and forth and uh, manage your, your trade talk. Um, some people like to uh, go the Canadian NAFTA team and uh, negotiate in public as we were seeing on our uh, chat forum, but uh, if you want to keep it private, the, uh, the message board uh, is, is not the best way to do it, but the chat function works great. So keep that in mind. Thanks. It's supposed to be a short video, but I got a little long-winded, so uh, I'm going to cut it out now. But best of luck to everybody. Welcome board to all the new people. 
and that's my 10 cents, this is Commissioner Dimes.